Transport is fundamental for any form of human interaction on a large scale. Talk about parents going to work, business people en route to transact, children going to school, or just family members checking up on each other. These movements and more all require one form of transportation or the other. One of the steps towards ensuring the well-being of the people of Kwara State is to provide a modern, efficient, affordable and sustainable public mass transport scheme, an upscale of the existing transport scheme. Against this backdrop, Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed initiated the Megida Soludero Mass Transit Scheme on 30th May 2017. As part of conscious policy to accelerate development in the transport sector, also bring Quara up to date in modern public transportation system, and also anticipates the challenges of moving from one point to the other within the metropolis and subsequently the state in general. The Megida Soludero Mass Transit Scheme commenced with the initial disbursement of 100 taxis, 193 motorbikes, and 25 minibuses. Soludero, as the name implies, means creating convenience for the people. It also means providing succor and comfort for the community. The visionary Megida administration had carried out a comprehensive policy review of mass transit schemes in Nigeria and realized the need to anchor the Soludero mass transit scheme on a commercial business model in order to achieve sustainability. The coming months, we intend to extend employment to other operators in the dynamic transport sector. This intervention brings to a cumulative of 674 million the amount of revolving credit disbursed to beneficiaries under the Quarter State Entrepreneurship Scheme from 2012 to date. Let me therefore congratulate the beneficiaries of these taxi caps for joining the growing list of those empowered by this administration under the scheme. Indeed, the choice of taxi drivers is due to their importance to efficient intra- and intercity transportation. As we all know, taxi drivers are crucial to mobility of our people and their goods, as well as to enhance social economic activities across the land and breadth of Kwara State. As the name implies, Megida Soluda or Mass Transit Scheme is designed to ease the hardship faced by the populace, especially students, workers, and other commuters who are often stranded for hours, particularly during peak hours. The 10 buses we are launching today were purchased for the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NRTW, through a credit facility provided by Kwara State Micro Small and Medium Enterprises Bureau. The scheme effectively took off with the acquisition of 10 diesel-powered buses, each with a sitting capacity of 56 passengers at a total cost of 257 million naira, inclusive of comprehensive insurance cover. The Megida Soludero Mass Transit Scheme is progressively turning around the face of public transport in Kwara State. The blue Megida buses with electronic display boards announcing their routes are now a pleasant sight to behold in the urban landscape of Kwara State. Given the business model of the transport scheme, it has been managed by the Bureau of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise which is strongly committed to ensuring a sustainable business operation model that will outlive Mr. Shegun Shoewu, the Chief Executive Officer of the Bureau, explained that apart from the procurement of buses at the cost of 257 million naira, 
The scheme has also invested 13 million naira on the construction of a terminal in Central Business District of Ilorin. 28 million naira was also used in the construction of several bus sheds in the metropolis. All that um, the, the Gida Solidero transport scheme itself commenced late 2013, but the launching came up early 2014. That was when the first set of 100 taxes called that's on the was launched. And coming on the heels of the successes recorded in the availment of those taxes to people and they are paying back as and when due, we decided to, well, His Excellency decided to bring on board first. 193 motorbikes due to clamor by the Joint Okada Riders Association of Kwara State that they should also be supported. So we did 193 motorbikes. Then, like I said, on the heels of the success of the then existing 100 taxes, we came up with additional 50 taxes and um, 25 mini buses. Those 25 mini buses we got at 62.5 million. And of course, the additional 50 taxes we did at 50 million. The, no, sorry, at 25 million. And the initial 100 we did at 50 million. So at some point in time, it had become like every February, March, we come up with new taxes to various unions have been working with. However, when His Excellency was approached on the need to do same in 2019, he, sorry, in 2016, he, he said, fine, we will go ahead, but we will do it in a different manner. And then he muted the idea of mass transit courses. So it was consequent upon that that we engaged National Union of Road Transport Workers and we need to work together for the commencement of the mass transit scheme in Kwara State. Um, a small committee was set up and we went about town looking at areas that could be used as stops for those buses when they commence operation. Um, by the end of 2016, we commenced the of those buses and that was the beginning of the Solidero, Megida Solidero mass transit scheme. There isn't much I can tell you other than the fact that the buses are operated from the revenue generated by them. We, we do not take any application from government. All pay salaries, pay for diesel, do hotel maintenance, do scheduled maintenance. And at the end of it, as I speak to you, there are savings that are millions of naira from the operations of this process. Essentially, they, they are self-sustaining.
over 700,000 passengers, and I mean 700,000 passengers. Now, if I ask you, I mean, if you ask me what has been our capacity utilization, I will honestly tell you 60% because we can still do it. Because in the peak period, when we go to a particular route, most times we don't come back with the same number of passengers that we went to that route. The average number of passengers we look at peak period is about 80, 85 per bus. Most times when we are coming back, we are, we are not with any number near that. So if you look at that, you will see that ordinarily per trip, we should have an average of um, 160, 170 passengers. That's going, you have like 80, 85. Coming back, you have 80, 85. But our average now is about 115, 120 across all the routes. So I can also tell you that we are still at about 65% capacity utilization. Maybe when we post our scenes and when doing our 100% capacity utilization, we are able to confidently and comfortably, comfortably recommend to His Excellency that check up the number of buses. Then of course you must also realize that in trying to do that, you do it such that you do not hurt the existing transporters who cannot pick as much passengers as you do and charge the kind of, let me put in quote, socialist um, fare that we charge. Beneficiaries of the Megida Soludero Mass Transit Scheme are members of staff, students of the major tertiary institutions in Kwara State. As a matter of fact, the main routes plied by these buses are University of Eloran Permanent Site, Kwara State University Maliti, Kwara State Polytechnic, and the Federal Polytechnic offer. Like I said, there is a regular review of the operations of the scheme. And it was during one of the sessions was given the reports that we uh, handed over to his excellency. Now you have come to him that okay. Go and do the trial of picking uniform school children free, especially after school hours. And of course all through the pregnant women, pensioners and the aged, and give me feedback. We did it for one month and we gave him Processes and technology are a vital part of any organization anywhere in the world. The Squara Mass Transit Scheme is not an exception. The core personnel all trained in Lagos are drivers and automobile technicians. At the moment, there are nine drivers, one driver mechanic, one mechanic and nine boss assistants and the terminal manager who was seconded from the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, along with an assistant also seconded from the association. The National Union of Road Transport Workers is the key partner of progress in the Soludero scheme because the Kwara State Government recognizes the need to integrate existing actors in the transportation sector into the scheme in order to tap from the experience and skills. Elder Moses Ashola Yusuf is the officer attached to the scheme by NURTW and he explained the working relationship of the union and Megida Soludero scheme. We have a very cordial relationship. 
very, very cordial. And uh, we cooperate with ourselves. You know, initially when the program wanted to start, start we have a very fair mind. But, uh, I did not going to take over the transport business from our hand. But as it is today, it is very cordial. We are friendly. What we are fearing for is no more there. Because the way they used to operate and we operate with them is very cordial. The Quara State was expecting very, very near appreciative uh, program because the cooperation and the gestion of government has started even before the one year anniversary. For example now, we are according to the directing of uh, HD, that is his excellence, we are taking all the school children from primary to secondary, free. Even they have priority over this vehicle more than when they had us. When they were going free, when they were coming free, for example, you can come around there between 2 and 4 in the afternoon. You will see what I'm saying. All this feed will be full of primary and secondary school. Including those uh, pregnant uh, women, they are free. Aged, they are free. Uh, retired uh, people with their ID card, they are free. You know, that kind of gesture from H E is very excellent. We appreciate it. Uh, and uh, National Union is very happy to appreciate with that program. When you have a very understandable uh, leaders. That is Alaji Ali Yisaure, who is the state chairman of the National Union. Whenever such things want to happen, you know, when, where you are getting money, there must little, little something like that. But immediately, uh, the thing get to the hand of uh, the chairman. With the talented uh, brain, with Alaji Isaure, the state chairman, he will call the, uh, the right party, the left party, and amicably we will settle it. There is no any rift between us and uh, government and Soluda. Thank God, at the same time, the current state government, uh, in conjunction with uh, NURTWU, that is the National Union of Aero Transport Workers here in Kora State uh, that have made this uh, gesture possible. And initially, see, when we started, so almost a year ago, we thank God things have been working well, even beyond our expectations. We don't have uh, any problem with our clients. Who are our clients? Who are the students and uh, uh, public in the town. So we thank God we don't have any problem with them. So far, so long. When it comes to uh, commercial activities, especially in uh, commercial buses, we have to be very, very careful with, uh, with the passengers. You see, some people they be, you know, their habits cannot be the same thing. Then at least we we'll take it easy with them. So far, we are their clients as well as their are, are own clients at the same time. So we don't fight them. We we'll take everything easy with them. For a customer. People going from Poly to uni, we tell them this is the bus going to university, this is the one going to Polytechnic, so that they will not make a mistake of entering the one going to Poly. Those going to university will not enter the one going to Poly. So we welcome them, we tell them where are you going, they tell us, so we direct them to where they want to go to. Play music for them, we make them happy so that next time they will join our bus. And they are very happy on that. Because when tell them is we need more buses. The 10 buses we have now is not doing anything at all. We need more. More than, if you can have something to for this population, it will go a very long way. Apart from the staff and students of tertiary institutions, 
the milk of human kindness in Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed engendered a compassionate measure by the governor who in January 2018 approved that the big blue friendly bosses carry pregnant women, the, the aged, pensioners and school children in uniform for free. Given the high degree of technical and engineering components involved in running of the mass transit scheme, the management of the Soludero scheme involved in a mutually beneficial partnership with the Ashok Leyland Group which supplied the vehicles and has a long-standing relationship with mass transit operators in Nigeria, as Mr. Sowewu explains. We, we, we have a working relationship with the uh, Von we bought those vehicles from Juan Motors and uh, at the turn of every average, every 5,000 kilometers on every box, we, we bring them in to do the service for us, we bring in the parts, we bring in their personnel and they work with our own mechanics here that we had hitherto trained in their workshop in Lagos. And as I speak to you now, we've done when we were purchasing those buses, the foreign exchange fluctuation kicked in and we bought four for different amounts and we bought another six for different amounts. So we came to about 200 and 43, 44 thereabouts, then we paid insurance. That was what brought us to the total sum of 257 million naira. Um, our initial projection was to operate from the lay by in coming from the front of Sky Bank around post office. But eventually we discovered that in the central business district there is a vacant land and Representations were made to His Excellency and he approved that that vacant land should be used as a terminal for those buses. And that is where you now call the Nikidas of the Mass Transit Park, which is where we operate from. And cost us something in the region of 13 million naira to put the place together. That is where we must go. Um, for the soccer and easy operation of those buses, Several bus sheds were put at identified spots for bus stops at a cost of 28 million. I think um, we have close to 22, 23 of them on the Okeose, Uli, Maraba, Murtala, Mohamed, going down to my Kenimodu artists, then we have a few of them around your way to my boy. So that's where we have them present. And those are the stops where those um, buses utilize when they are moving. We have some around Tanke Junction, we have one by Tipa Garage, we have one by Sarah. Those are for those not going to. The services provided by the Solidero scheme are mostly express bus services in which the buses move from the terminal to its designated terminals. Essentially, there are minimal stops in between more like a direct flight. For now, the 
the scheme conveys a minimum of 4,000 and peak at 6,000 passengers daily across the various routes. The expectation is that the numbers will rise and the scheme will acquire more buses and hopefully expand its coverage outside the urban environment. The managers of the scheme say efficiency, financial integrity in ticket sales, increasing technical capacity in fleet management, robust social responsibility and above all sustainable and efficient service delivery will be guiding post of the scheme in the years to come.